Third Lesson A monk or a nun on the pilgrimage, in whose way there are walls or ditches or ramparts or gates, and C. C. 2. 3. 2. Section 14. Hill houses, palaces, underground houses, houses and trees, mountain caves, a sacred tree or pillar, workshops, and C. C. 2. 2. 2. Section 8. Should not look at them holding up their arms, pointing at them with their fingers, bowing up and down. Then they may circumspectly wander from village to village. 1. A monk or a nun on the pilgrimage, on whose way there are marshes, pasture grounds, moats, fortified places, thickets, strongholds and thickets, woods, mountains, strongholds on mountains, caves 1, tanks, lakes, rivers, ponds, lotus ponds, long winding ponds, water sheets, rows of water sheets, should not look at them holding up their arms, and see, see section 1. 2. The Kevelin says, this is the reason, the deer, cattle, birds, snakes, animals living in water, on land, in the air might be disturbed or frightened, and strive to get to a fold or, other place of, refuge, thinking this Ramana will harm me. Hence it has been said to the mendicant, and see, that he should not look at the objects, mentioned in section 2, holding up his arms, and see. 2, 3. Page 146. A monk or a nun, wandering from village to village together with the master or teacher, should not touch the master's or teacher's hand with their own, and see, but without touching or being touched, they should circumspectly wander from village to village together with the master or teacher. 4. A monk or a nun, wandering from village to village together with the master or teacher, might be met on the road by travelers and asked, O long lived Sramana, who are you? Whence do you come, and where do you go? The master or teacher may answer and explain, but whilst the master or teacher answers and explains, one should not mix in their conversation. Thus they may wander from village to village with a superior priest one. 5. A monk or a nun, wandering from village to village with a superior priest, should not touch the superior's hand with their own, and see, see section 4. 6. A monk or a nun, wandering from village to village with superior priests, might be met on the road by travelers, and be asked, O long-lived Sramana, who are you? He who has the highest rank of them all, should answer and explain, but whilst the superior answers and explains, one should not mix in their conversation, and see, see section 5. 7. A monk or a nun, wandering from village to village, might be met on the road by travelers, and be asked, O long-lived Sramana, did you see somebody on the road? Viz. A man, cow, buffalo, cattle, bird, snake, or aquatic animal tell us, show. Page 147. Us. The mendicant should not tell it, nor show it, he should not comply with their request, but look on silently, or, though knowing it, he should say that he did not know. Then he may circumspectly wander from village to village. 8. He should act in the same manner, if asked about bulbs of water plants, roots, bark, leaves, flowers, fruits, seeds, water in the neighborhood, or a kindled fire. 9. Likewise, if asked about, transports of, corn, wagons, cars, and C. C. 2. 3. 2. Section 16. 10. Likewise, if asked, O long lived Shramana, how large is this village or scot-free town, and see. 11. Likewise, if asked, O long-lived Sramana, how far is it to that village or scot-free town, and see. 2 o'clock. 12. If a monk or a nun, wandering from village to village, sees a vicious cow coming towards them, and see. C. 2, 1, 5, section 3, they should not, from fear of them, leave the road, or go into another road, nor enter a thicket, wood, or stronghold, nor climb a tree, nor take a plunge in a large and extended water sheet, nor desire a fold or any other place of refuge, or an army or a caravan, but undisturbed, the mind not directed to outward things, they should collect themselves for contemplation, thus. They may circumspectly wander from village to village. 13. If the road of a monk or a nun on the pilgrimage lies through a forest, in which, as they know, their stroll bands of many thieves desirous of their property, they should not, for fear of them, leave the road, and see, all as in section 13. 
14. If these thieves say, O long lived Shamana, bring us your clothes, and see, give them, put them down, the mendicant should not give or put them down. Page 148. Paragraph continues, nor should he reclaim his things by imploring the thieves, or by folding his hands, or by moving their compassion, but by religious exhortation, or by remaining silent. 15. If the thieves, resolving to do it themselves, bully him, and see, tear off his clothes, and see, he should not lodge an information in the village or at the king's palace, nor should he go to a layman, and say, O long-lived householder! These thieves, resolving to do, the robbing, themselves, have bullied me, and see, they have torn off my clothes, and see. He should neither think so, nor speak so, but undisturbed, and see, see section 13. This is the whole duty, and see. Thus I say. 16. End of the third lecture, called Walking. Footnotes. 145, colon 1, the word Agata has been left out in the translation. 145, colon 2, the passage closes, then he may circumspectly wander from village to village together with the master and teacher, Iario Vigea, dot. But as the master and teacher have not been mentioned before, and will be mentioned in the next sutra, it is almost certain that the words in question have been brought over from the next sutra, or that they ought to be supplied to all sutras from the beginning of the third lesson. 146, colon 1 Aharitini, com Yathratnaticum. Rataniya is opposed to Siha, disciple, it is elsewhere explained by Gayeshtha, see Kulpa Sutra, Sam. 59. I am not sure if the phrase ought not to be translated, with due respect for his superior.